Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DWM Window Manager on Pop OS. So in, in, in this uh, installation, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, GNOME or Genome and uh, Pop OS Desktop and install uh, DWM Manager on top of it. And also make sure that the Pop OS and uh, Genome or GNOME shell is not uh, reinstalled on updates or it's not broken. So let's get started. Now to, to get started, you need to have a, a pen drive to install Pop OS. So the Pop OS installation procedure is a standard procedure uh, and you can follow the standard documentation from Pop OS and it's not different. But I'm gonna show you still, you know, if you, if you want to see it. So let's connect and then, then start. Uh, I will be using a VNC because it's in, uh, mine is in a virtualized machine. So let me start. Okay, so uh, as soon as you boot using your bootable uh, USB media, you will be presented with this screen. From here, you just hit enter. This will boot into a live environment and it will also uh, 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 give option to install. So let's uh, set a screen resolution first. So you, I will go in display settings and I will change my screen resolution to 1680 by 1050. Apply and close. So now we have a full screen. And then the selection, uh, the standard installation procedure. So language English, then the location, Canada. My keyboard is English US, uh, default keyboard, key mapping, uh, clean install. That's my hard disk, erase all and install. Uh, encrypt, you can still keep your encryption, encryption option. It doesn't break. The DWM installation will not break the encryption. So continue. Okay, so the installation is complete now. So let's, uh, let's shut down and remove the uh, USB drive. So connect. Now, as you can see, it will prompt for the encryption, this en encryption password. Okay, we are in the uh, pop, pop OS. Next, English, uh, turn off location, uh, EDT is fine, skip, and then create user account. Set a password. and start using. Uh, let's change the screen resolution again. Now, one thing doesn't work uh, after installation is the, uh, the, the theme, the icon theme. So first let's install uh, GNOME Twig Tool. using apt uh, apt install and package name enter your password i think tweaks. yes this we have this step we have to do it before uh, installing dwm oh, still not doesn't show uh, Weeks appearance uh, here you can uh, select your favorite theme uh, you could select you know Advaita dark but I prefer pop dark I will leave that as is the icons again you can choose whatever icons you want the only thing is the cursor which has to be a different than the pop and for that I use uh, uh, first we need to add a repository so let's do that here sudo apt no sudo uh, add apt repo repository ppa snwh 
slash pdk enter whenever there is a change in repositories we have to region with the app index and then install paper icon theme so that would be sudo apt install paper icon theme uh, oh there is one extra here not expecting okay now we can go back to our uh, genome twix go to appearance cursor and select paper this is uh, it's not a must a step to do but if you don't do it then your cursor when you hover over a link it will have a hand uh, icon a weird hand icon kind of you know side inclined which i do not really like it so this is the only change you need to do now once we once we have uh, that set up and we cannot change it after so you have to do it before uh, you complete the installation twm installation now one more thing uh, we need to get started which is the git we don't have git uh, installed uh, do we have git i'm not sure oh we do have a git in uh, uh, pop os so let's change directory to opt and we'll clone my git repository sudo git clone https github.com slash eskamari slash feather or feather os enter uh, enter your sudo password and if you do lslart we have a folder which is we just copied from the git now change into this folder there are a lot of files and uh, directories now if you if you want to install uh, dwm on on your own you could download them and compile them manually and you could install it or if you want to upgrade you could just clone your uh, dwm repository in this folder and then run make it make clean uh, install and it will install but instead doing uh, in one one by one installation i have compiled i have put together a script which basically does the same thing but it's automated so this will install all the prerequisite it will remove all the unnecessary stuff from pop, pop os it will block uh, pop os upgrade from installing uh, genome or gnome shell and pop os desktop and it will change the um, uh, shell from bash to zsh and it will personalize it uh, based on a color theme and you can change these all if you are uh, you know um, uh, knowledgeable enough on, on how things works but the whole idea behind this installation is to make it easier so you could just install by typing a single command so that we will be doing it by running sudo install popos.sh enter the username for the user which you want to install and hit enter okay so the installation is complete everything is installed now all we need to do is reboot now the first thing it should show us the uh, the disk en encryption password and you can see now we don't have gnome we do not have a pop os desktop log in with your user and you see the uh, shell console changed now it's, it's uh, the default uh, shell is uh, zsh instead bash which, and it's also personalized which you can see and run start x to start the dwm now the first very first thing i will be doing it is changing the resolution by using x rand r hyphen s and the uh, screen size which is 1680 by 1050 enter okay uh, we don't have any background so let's launch uh, chromium uh, i have uh, changed the key bindings i prefer to use uh, windows key or alt key as the um, uh, mod key so to launch a browser you use windows b and to quit any application use windows q to 
access the D menu, use Windows P and uh, there are a bunch of other bindings. So it's fairly simple. Uh, I will launch Chromium using Windows B and then will download a image from NASA. So let's download this one. It's called Cosmic Necklace. Hmm, interesting. Save in uh, downloads folder and use Windows uh, Q to quit and then launch Nitrogen. Nitrogen is used for the background. Add, go to downloads, select, OK. Select this, go here, scroll down, select zoom field and apply and uh, close it. Now you can see we have a background. Now if I open terminal, it has a transparency because the ST which, which got installed with the script has already uh, alpha patch and that's why you see the, the background. Uh, you see the transparency in the, in the ST. So this is all now. If you do the uh, usual stuff like you know you can update, you should not break or even I can do let's say disk upgrade and a full upgrade they should update upgrade all the packages but it should not break so let's say yes and one of the reason uh, using DWM window manager over GNOME is you can see if I open another terminal using Windows T. Uh, let me again increase the font size. Here, if you notice, the RAM used is only 400 MB. The same thing, no matter how uh, lean you keep your GNOME, will not will not be around 400. It will be always over 1 uh, GB. So this is very light. Uh, if you are planning on to use it on let's say a laptop it will consume it will conserve your battery it will run longer and also it's 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 really easy easy to use you don't have a lot of options you don't have to uh, you know play around uh, and it runs everything you can install all the programs you can install like chromium is already installed but let's say if you want to install of uh, uh, VS Code uh, if you are a programmer or let's say SAP system you could install SAP GUI or Eclipse my system has everything and if I uh, run everything at once meaning uh, VS Code, SAP, Chromium uh, uh, and a few more tabs in the Chromium and the, the RAM consumption still would be under 1 uh, GB. Okay, so all the installs are, all the upgrades are complete. And we can restart now. Uh, does the reboot work without sudo? Yes, it does. And the screen resolution, I changed it temporarily. I did not set it as a permanent, so it was fall back to the default screen resolution again, and I have to set it one more time. So far is good, nothing broke. We are already in the console and we are already on the desktop. Now, like I said, the resolution that is, wasn't permanent. So I just uh, changed the resolution again. And now you can see, so we have our pop, pop OS. On a fresh boot, it uses about 300 MB. And on opening a lot of application, it will consume more, but it will it will be under one gig. So that's all for this video. Uh, I will be leaving all the details in the description down below. If you have any suggestions, comments, please feel free to you know uh, mention them in the comment section. So thank you for watching.